there probably aren't a lot of things that could be simultaneously called Early Marquette's pride and joy and Early Marquette's biggest boondoggle. In fact, that singular honor may belong to the Hotel Superior. The hotel, which sat right above where Giants Foot Park now is, must have been an awe-inspiring sight in person. It was built in 1891 and designed by the same architect who designed the Michigan State Capitol building. It sat on 27 acres of land. It had its own gardens, its own farm, its own house orchestra, and it even had the streetcar line running right up to it. The hotel was designed to cater to rich people from Chicago who had hay fever and who wanted to breathe the fresh air of Lake Superior to try to get rid of it. And that, sadly, was the Hotel Superior's biggest flaw. There weren't an awful lot of rich people from Chicago who had hay fever, and there were even fewer rich people from Chicago who wanted to come up to Marquette and try to cure their hay fever. So it probably wasn't much of a surprise when the hotel went out of business a decade or so after it opened. The building sat empty and falling apart in South Marquette for almost 30 years. And, of course, people just couldn't leave it alone. Clyde Steele, in his great book, It Seems Like Yesterday, told the story of how you could tell kids had broken into the hotel during the night and had a pillow fight. How could you tell that? Well, because most of South Marquette would wake up the next morning to find a bunch of goose-down feathers from the pillows covering their homes and their front yards. <laughs>